They call this fabulous venue the Yard of Bricks. It's the Indianapolis Motor Speedway located in the glorious US of A, where motorsports thrive. On the pole is Bristol winner JD Bregler. After Sammy Fulmer's tragic qualifying inspection woes, Bregler is slated to start first. He's been on a hot tear recently, let's see if he can make it two in a row. Paul Donlin is making the most of his opportunity, starting on the outside of row one. He's put together some sexy runs lately. Let's see if he can possibly get the W today. And finally, starting fifth, is the face car itself, driven by Jared Holmes. He's had the worst luck imaginable, but we'll find out today if his fantabulous face being on the hood of that car will do the magic. I'm Cater Johns alongside Sam Jam, who joins me in the booth today. Hey there, folks. I'm unusually excited to be in the booth with Cater today, avoiding the mayhem that is about to occur. I would be too. So, Sammy, how the flipperoni are these drivers going to find their way to victory lane today? Well, Cater, these drivers have their work cut out for them today for sure. I anticipate them going all out and being very aggressive from lap one. Oh yeah, especially with these drivers behind the wheel. And it's time for the command in the final regular season race. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to Swaggy C as he gives the command. Drivers, start your engines and get lit! Death is almost certain today here at Indy. Here's the starting grid. Take it away, Sam Jam. In the front row, we've got pole winner 75, J.D. Bregler, and the 42 of Paul Donlin. In row two, we have Toad Swag making his NASM's debut. He was fastest in second practice. Stephanie Blaney starts beside him. In row three, we have the face car driven by Jared Holmes next to Mackenzie Navarro on the outside. The fourth row will have two young boys, Elon Solberg and Greg Servia. We have Klaus Michelson and Pichu Miller to taking up row 5. Row 6 features two drivers with wins this season looking to add on to their resume, Raven Dagan and Chase Newsom. Tristan Beasel takes up the inside of row 7 with Sean Nova on the outside. And in the last row, the two slow boys of Malik Vega and Hingle McCringleberry. And now we have this week's DNQs. Rightful pole winner, myself, Sammy Fulmer, along with Wyatt Luffman and Satoru Tanaka. All three were DNQ'd for failing post-qualifying inspections. And here is getting the dub presented by Fortnite, an 8-lap event, one of the shortest we're going to do, but it's on a long track, 2.5 miles. A nice, sunny, 62-degree weather. It's important to be aggressive, as you, as you see here, with slingshotting, with side drafting, with everything. We have a very interesting package these drivers are using today. And the green is about to come out, Sammy. And here they go. What a start. We've got the 42 of Pondal Paul Donlin getting a good push by Stephanie Blaney, and he takes the lead easily. Toad Swag looking to get around the 42, but it is Paul Donlin leading the first lap here at Indy. Jared Holmes to the back bumper, that 04 gonna give him a humongous push and Toad Swag takes the lead at Indy his first ever start he's to the lead on the front stretch oh and just as he takes the lead for the lap oh wait we've got a wreck by Mackenzie <laughs> Navarro Mackenzie Navarro brings out the first caution of this event she, I have no idea what she was doing there she just came right down and that's just, is that stupidity, Sammy? I don't know, we'll never know. But looks like she just tried to get the side draft maybe on Solberg and came up into the wall. Luckily did not blow over. It looked like that car would have blown over. We're going to commercial. We'll be right back. Hey you, do you want your ears to suffer yet again? Well, I'll be darned. We got the perfect medicine for you. Cater Jones sings the classics three. You may know Cater Johns as a popcorn taste tester, but little did you know he's also a professional singer. 
No, no I'm not. This album will make you realize how much you need Cater Johns' singing in your life, as he sings multiple classic bangers, including... <laughs> I walk through her hills, but she knows who I am. She sees my good days, and she kisses me when they... Here I go again on my own. Yeah, going down the old day road. I'm in the how do you roll those keys like that? Don't let your ears see another day. Please call this number and you will get your free copy of Cater John's Sings the Classics. We've returned to Indianapolis. Navarro is out of this race. Boy, that sucks for her. She will not make the playoffs. The restart with five to go. It's Swag and Holmes on the front row. And Holmes, ooh, deliberately puts Toad Swag into the wall. Paul Donlin gets a bit loose from Stephanie Blaney, but it looks like he's going to try and take the lead from Holmes. Holmes is blocking it left and right and not letting Donlin in there. Man, Holmes is just not playing this race smart, making a lot of enemies, but it's working for him at the moment. As you see Swag just, man, that... What a tough break for that young kiddo. Just put straight into the wall by the 96. Jared Holmes really wants to win this race. As you see, Donlin almost gets turned by the 12, trying to get by him, or her rather, for the second position. Yeah, he was almost turned, and now we've got the 12 of Stephanie Blaney really right on Jared Holmes' bumper as the 42 of Paul Donlin comes in. Oh, crash behind him, the 28 of Hingle McCringleberry. In turn two, that will bring out the yellow. So, let's see what happened. The Cinderella story comes to an end as he somehow made this race after three cars filled post-race inspection. It was the 17 getting into the 87 that hooked the 28. And unfortunately for him, as well as Toad Swike, who has too much damage, they will be out. And that caution came out with two to go, I believe. So, one lap shootout here at Indy. And the green flag is off. Jared Holmes spins his tires, and the 42 of Paul Donlin gets a massive start. But Jared Holmes is extremely fast and comes up on him. Through the final couple corners, Jared Holmes underneath the 42. Oh my god! Rest in peace, Donlin wins. Holy crap, what a finish. What I say, folks, this race was a literal graveyard with mayhem around every corner. Paul Donlin pulled off an amazing victory here today. I sure hope Jared's okay. Whoa, what is this? Dale freaking Earnhardt Sr., what the heck? Sammy, where'd he come from? Where's he taking Jared? I don't know, Cater, but this is freaky. He brought him back to life. Oh my goodness, is that Lexi Rhodes? Dale Sr. just resurrected Lexi Rhodes. The man in black, Dale Sr., who passed away in the 2001 Daytona 500, has done something heroic here today. I'd say, Cater, it looks like Dale Sr. just returned two legends to us. And he fades away back into the heavens. He'll be missed. Meanwhile, we have an update on the playoff situation. We were getting word the final restart is under review, Sammy. Paul Donlin might have this taken away from him. Yeah, Cater, it looks like Paul Donlin may have jumped the final restart. But I don't know, if you look here, Jared seems to spin his tires. Might even have been on purpose. So we'll see how the officials call this. I don't see much wrong there with the, that restart other than a mistake on Jared's part. You see Klaus pushing the 42, and we have just received word Paul Donlin has indeed won this race. The replacement driver for Delgado will race for the championship next week. That's right, next week is for all the marbles. The schedule has been condensed down to one single race in the playoffs, and these eight drivers will go at it on a figure eight circuit to win the NASA's championship trophy. Sammy, aren't you just excited? Heck yeah, I'm excited, Cater. The Riverbox 48 team is ready to win this thing. Anyhow, now that the race is called, we have our eight championship contenders who will race at the figure eight track. Eight races of heartbreak, triumph, and perseverance have led up to this very moment. And the NASM's champion will be crowned next week on the brutal conditions of the figure eight track that the series has lined up for them. And Sammy, I wish you the best of luck and thanks for joining me in the booth today. Next week will be a true testament to the physical and mental capabilities of the drivers. You do not 
want to miss it. So stick around, folks, for the Roblox 29K. I'm Cater Johns alongside Sam Jam, signing off.